Father, we thank you for this blessed day. A day we have set aside to remember your birth. A day we have set aside to remember that you came to live with us as a man. Take the glory, take the praise, take the honor and speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we give the Lord a hand? Let's get straight to the word. All announcements will be given after. Let's open our Bibles, if you have your phone or your Bible, to a common scripture for us as a church, um, especially if I'm dealing with sonship. Isaiah chapter 9, verse number 6. And I'll be playing between Isaiah 9, 6 and John chapter 1. And I'm talking to you on the chrome chromosomism of Jesus Christ chromosomism the chromosome of Jesus Christ the chromosome chromosome now for the sake of those who were like me who didn't do science let me give you the meaning of chromosome according to the dictionary the term chromosome comes from the Greek words for color, chroma, and body. So the color of a body. So, soma. Scientists give the, gave this name to chromosome because they are cell structures or bodies that are strongly stained by some colorful dyes used in research. Amen. And it says that the unique structure of a chromosome keeps DNA tightly wrapped around spoon like Protein, proteins like histones. Without such packaging, DNA molecules will be too long for it to fit into cells. Now, Isaiah chapter 9, verse number 6 says, Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Everlasting Father and a Prince of Peace. Or is not so? Am I right? For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and a government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and a Prince of Peace. Now, the Bible says, Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Say, A child is born. Say, a son is given. Now, this automatically gives you two aspects of who Jesus is. He was first a child, and he became a son. He was first a child, and he became what? A son. Now, what I've realized is that the world has embraced the child Jesus, but have not embraced the son Jesus. So, they like to celebrate Christmas, a child is born. But if you tell them about the sonship or the deity of Jesus, they, they doubt it and say, no, he can't be the son of God. Now, today, my little time with you is going to prove to you, was Jesus or is Jesus the son of God or the son of Mary or whatever? Now, to Mary, Jesus was a child. The child was for Jesus. But the son was for God. I know for now you'll be confused. But bear with me. For you to understand this very well, for a human being to be born, you need chromosomes. Chromosomes depict DNA. What is DNA? DNA is just trying to find out if a child, I'm not using a scientific term, so pardon me, a child belongs to their father or their mother or is not for the both parents. So if you go and do DNA, we have to we are just trying to find out if you have a link to me or you are a link to somebody else. So in Ghana recently we've had cases where we've even had some footballers who had children, took care of them, and they went to check after many years and the children were not DS. DNA. Now the DNA is kept in these places in the body and 
it is so thick, it is so heavy that God in his own wisdom has made it stay in our body. But if you release it and stretch it, it can stretch as long as six feet. That is the size of a human being. That is a DNA. Now, for a child to be born, I'm sure some of you, you've done science, so pardon my little sign. I didn't like science, but because of this research, I have to do science studies throughout the night to understand what God was telling me. For you to be born, if you're a female, every female has X and X chromosome. And every male has X and Y chromosome. So if my wife gives birth and the baby is a female, it means that the baby picked up the X and X of my, of the, my wife and did not pick my X and Y. So if we're male, it means that you pick the Y of your father. Am I talking to somebody here? Now, the, D, um, the X and Y determines your nose size, determines the color of your skin, and everybody, every human being has 23 chromosomes. 23. And you need the two to come together to become 46 chromosomes to be a normal human being. When it is not packaged together to have the 46, you can have a brain syndrome or a brain damage. Or it can make, that's why you see some people, they are dogo. If I say dogo, I don't mean six feet. They are like 10 feet high. And most of such things can easily cause the person not to give birth. His manhood can be destroyed totally. Now, we have children who are born and they have brain problems. It all has to do with the amount of chromosomes in the body. And it is believed that if your, the chromosomes are not even packaged well for you, it can lead to future things like leukemia and some cancerous diseases. So, if somebody is sitting by you and it's a female, tell the person you are XX. And if the person is a male, say you are XY. So the person, let's learn a little bit of science. So for Jesus, let me start making it clear to you. For Jesus to come as a man and not a woman, it means that his father is a man. I don't know whether you're understanding me here. Now, if Jesus had come with as a female, then you have easily thought of it as though then the mother's XX was the one that helped the baby. So if you do Jesus a DNA, it could be like XX or whatever. But if you did him, because he's a male, it is most likely that he picked up the um, chromosome of his father. The why of God was higher. Now, in the Bible we read, you could easily see that people don't understand even we men of God. Now, and I keep asking God why people don't understand men of God. And God keeps also telling me that because they don't even understand Jesus. So people like Jesus and they say that they, Jesus as a man is a good person. He was a nice person who came on earth. He did a lot of good. But you can't ascribe this nature of God to him. Now, I, I'm recently, Pastor Charles was teaching, I like what he said, that the Bible said Mary had to give birth and Mary had to give birth as a virgin. Now, I'm just imagine that a woman who has never had sex before for her virginity to be broken and she's about to deliver within, without this modern day um, accoutrements of operation and cutting and this woman is going to give birth as a virgin. It means that the woman's the burden of Jesus will not be an easy struggle. And I saw something that made me laugh and it's, a, it's, it's, it's humor. Don't take it personal. It's not in the Bible. That we sing silent night, holy night, all is calm. Because Mary assumed that Joseph would be responsible to book a room when they were going to Bethlehem. When they got there, there was no room. So Mary got very angry that he didn't consider my situation. Now you are incompetent. man. Look at where I'm going to give birth. So when Mary gave birth, there was silence in the room. Nobody said anything. <laughs> so that's why there's silent night, holy night. Uh, you know, you know. I mean, at least Mary expected Joseph. Pardon me. As I told, I just came from Chicago, <laughs> Ghana, Chicago. <laughs> Mary expected Joseph 
being responsible to at least booked because you are going to your hometown. You've never taken me to your hometown before. The first time we're going to your hometown, you should have booked so that when we go, we go into some first class or at least five star hotel. Now, when we go, zero star cry, didn't get manger. Even your own family house cry was booked. So, Mary, how many of you know that if you're a woman, that day you will not talk? How many women will still be nice and be talking? And in the midst of it, you are still a virgin and you are going to give birth and push this baby out. And Joseph didn't do anything about it. Didn't even prepare. Didn't buy diapers. Didn't buy anything. Didn't prepare any medical doctor or anything for you. It was a real silent night. Can I hear an amen? Oh, amen. But moving on, you will understand that Mary was the, is the mother of Jesus. Do you agree with me? Now, so Joseph never had sexual intercourse whatsoever with Mary until Mary gave birth. But later, when Jesus was born, we know that Jesus had brothers, Jude, James, and John, and had sisters. So we got to know that there was definitely sex after Jesus was born. Now, for Jesus not to, um, Joseph not to have had a child or slept with Mary, then it could, how could, um, um, how, um, how, how do I put it? Mary produce a male with an, a Y chromosome. It would take something very supernatural for Mary to have. If Mary had given birth to a female, maybe then you can really depict that there was no God or there was no male person attached to Mary. But for the contention to be between X and X and X and Y and X and Y1, it means that that the male aspect or the divinity aspect of God prevailed against the X and X aspect. Can I hear somebody say an amen? You are still a little bit confused like me, but let's go on. You understand as I go. Please don't bring me your too much of your science. I told you, mate, I did arts from class, um, class D nursery to assist from arts totally. Science, the highest science I did was agriculture. So if you talk to me about plant chromosome, I know. I know plant even have chromosome. Anything that grows should have chromosomes. Anything. That is why if you have one mango and you plant it in another country, it still has the same taste, the same size and everything because of the DNA of plant. Plants have DNA. Now, so which DNA did Jesus have? So, Isaiah prophesying before Jesus was born said, Unto us a child is born. That is the X. Unto us a son is given. That is the Y. You didn't understand my signs. So, Jesus was a combination of a female and a male. I don't have time to talk to you about how some people become Kojo Besia. And Besia Kojo. That is another topic for another day. So, if you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you will see that Matthew, Mark, Luke, these three people, they spoke about the birth of Jesus as a human being. If you look at Luke, Luke, the Nassim cried, the head, the Luke gave so much detail about the birth of Jesus. Matthew also gave his own detail, but Matthew started with generational cases. Abraham gave birth to this, and this one gave birth to this, and this one gave generation. He was trying to trace the DNA of Jesus. Everybody traced the DNA of Jesus, but John decided to trace the DNA of Jesus to another angle. Am I talking to somebody here? I'm not talking to somebody here. Are you, are you in church? Hello. As I tell you, the distance between me and you is so if you can't smile, your words cannot hear an amen. amen. So, unto us, Mary gave us a child. But the behavioral pattern of Jesus was not the Mary 
flesh that was given, but the behavior pattern of Jesus was the why of God. Now, I have a daughter, and sometimes I'm amazed. I do it, and my wife also does it. When they sleep, they sleep the same way. They don't know they are both sleeping. But they all sleep the same. If mother does this, daughter does that. If mother does this, daughter does that. So me too, I, I watch a race and I watch her toenails and her fingernails. I say, your leg like your mother. Now, now, if you are bow-legged, where did you take your bow-legged from? If your teeth is somewhere, where did you take it from? If your color is somewhere. Now, if you look at a racist color, I am fairer than the mother. A racist color is me. So, if you do a racist female, there are things a racist also does. That sometimes her mother also take a video and come and give it to me and say, this is you. And I pretend it is not me and say, it's not me. When it is good, I accept it. But when it is some way, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Now, look at children as they grow up. You, no matter the food, you can give them a white man's food. You can give them a Ghanaian, a Chinese food, Japanese food. Give them any kind of education in the world. The natural thing about the child is that the child will grow and begin to behave naturally like any of the two parents, two of us. If even the child was born in America, how many of you have seen Rukaya and Tanko and the, all of them, their teeth? It is in their family. It is a threat. Oh, are you, am I talking to somebody here? So, sometimes I, there was, there was I, there's a lady in this church who was struggling to give birth and she gave birth and when she gave birth the child's legs were some way like this. So, I was very worried and I was telling mommy that these people, we need to pray and I was talking to the woman and said, oh, that was how she was when she was a child. When she grew, it became normal. Like play, like play. The last time I saw this child, the child's leg that was like this has become straight. I said, hey. So, it is so natural. You see, there are some things that are so natural with you that you can never do anything about it because it keeps reproducing itself every day. The cells, my cells every day, every month, every week, every year, your cells grow, and your DNA keeps reproducing. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Are you here? You are not here. So now, if we can look at Jesus carefully, we will see that a part of Jesus was Mary and a part of Jesus was God. How do I say that a part of Jesus was Mary? How can you have a God who the Bible says we said he never slumbers nor sleep? I don't even know that God doesn't slumber nor sleep. Now how come Jesus slept in the boat? That wasn't God. That was Mary. Are, are you talking to me? I thought God was all-knowing. One day Jesus turned and said, somebody touch me. And the woman came and said, I am the one. Why didn't Jesus mention that Abna has touched me? He said, somebody. So that day Jesus was not behaving like God. It was Mary. The next thing he said, power has left me. Excuse me. Of course, somebody does not lose power. It is we who buy power that loses power. So when he said power, has left me, it was a human being that was talking. God doesn't lose his power. A human being loses his power. Oh, am I talking to somebody here? The day he said, I test. Hey, we spirit test? Well, in heaven, we saw somebody saying in hell that this test is you bring water. But there's nowhere we see that God is hungry or thirsty. It is the flesh that is hungry and thirsty. So for Jesus say, I test on the cross. That wasn't a God. That was a flesh. But let me tell you this. When Jesus was being chased in Luke chapter 4 and walked through the people and he vanished out of them, that was not Mary. That was the supernatural part of God. I'm not talking to somebody at all. 
when he was put in a grave and he rose up on the third day, that wasn't man. That was the other part of God. Am I talking to somebody here? Are you here? You are not here with me. When have you heard anywhere in your Bible that God prays before? Who is he praying to? But when Jesus was on earth, he did what? I didn't hear you. I'll say something. Don't get angry. So I wonder people who say that they don't go, they don't take medicine. I don't know whether they are only God. I'll get there. How many of you here you don't take medicine? Let me see your hands up. Oh, you don't mind me. Because I'll tell you then that cassava is medicine. Yam is medicine. Granite paste is medicine. Oh, you don't believe it? Coconut, coconut water is medicine. But God doesn't need all those kinds of things to survive. But we need it to survive. And when you overtake it, you will begin to malfunction. Because your X and Y chromosomes must not intermix with certain things. Am I talking to somebody at all? I didn't hear your amen. amen. Let's do a little bit of science. Some of you are looking at me as if I'm sure. For an organism to grow and function properly, cells must constantly divide to produce new cells to replace old and worn out cells. Am I talking to somebody here? So in other words, our body naturally wears out. So someone say, ah, Give me Luke chapter 2, verse 40. Now, somebody then will say that, ah, but God doesn't wear out. Is God an old man or a young man? What is in Luke chapter 2, verse number 40? And the child grew. Huh? It didn't say the son grew. And was a child is born. That child was so human that he had to grow. God doesn't grow. God exists in a world of his own. He exists. He doesn't grow old or grow young. He doesn't have age. Am I talking to somebody here? You are not here at all. So how can you say, and the child grew and became strong? When was he weak? So at this stage, we are looking at the fact that Jesus had an ex- and had a Y chromosome. That is why he was a male. And let me tell you this. As a Christian, whether you like it or not, you have your human nature and you have your spiritual nature. Oh, amen. Your amen is not good at all. So if you see anybody what they call Down syndrome, they have 21 chromosomes instead of 23. Some of the chromosomes did not come. Down syndrome. I'm not talking to somebody here. Your amen, your yes is not good at all. Let me give you an example. A fruit fly, you know a fruit fly, has four pairs of chromosomes, making eight. A rice plant, that one there, I told you, I went to a Greek, I'm good. A, a rice, 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 I eat, I'm more eating. Has 12 chromosomes. A dog has 39 chromosomes. So, how many of you have seen that every child, if whether it is male, X and Y, or X and X, still has trace of both mother and father. I know somebody who said a child is not his. And if you look at the child, you can look at the child and see direct photocopy. The guy, when you are talking to the guy, whether he has cold or not, he's always putting his hands, clearing the nose. The son does it every day and night, whether the son is asleep or awake. Oh, am I talking to somebody here? Okay, look at someone and say, which of your 
trace some uh, resembles your mother or your father. What did the person say? God cannot be born. Can God be born? Somebody who is in the beginning, he was. But in Luke chapter 2, verse 7, Jesus was born. So you can look at it. Is that you look? What I'm trying to tell you is that everybody, please look at me. The reason why we are struggling in this world is that there are two parts of us operating the part which is God and the part which is flesh. So I was telling my office this just this morning that if you meet people in the world, they know that this person is a good MD. But this and this and this are his character. They know that this person is a president or a presidential candidate. But this and this is his character. But he can win an election and become president. They don't really concentrate on anything. They just concentrate on the that aspect of his DNA. But when you come to church, we also look at the why DNA, which is God's DNA. And we all want everybody to be sanctimoniously, spiritually pious. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. I'm in the spirit. I've been fasting. I've been praying. Oh God, I'm asking. The Bible says, say this. So when they see an X chromosome. They say, hey, you are a human being. But I'm just trying to tell you that, did you see Jesus exhibiting human traits on earth? Yes. Because as long as you are born of the flesh, you will exhibit the X. You are born again, you will exhibit the Y. But your Y must be superimposed. That is why in Christ there is no male or female, there's only Y chromosome. X, Y chromosome. You, everybody is a male. If you're not scientific, you don't understand me well. In Matthew chapter 4, verse number 2, Jesus said, the Bible says, and he was hungry. He was what? Wait, oh. Who was hungry? The child was hungry. Not the son. In John chapter 4, verse 7, can I have it? John 4, 7. He said to a woman, give me water to drink. He was thirsty. I know you say that he didn't drink that water, so he was not thirsty. So to have a proof, go to Luke chapter 19, verse 28, where he said, I am thirsty. Am I teaching you well? I don't want to take you to the place that he took a cane and shaped people. He felt like sinning. He didn't sin. How many of you have felt like sinning before? Oh, they didn't come to church. Oh, spirit, Y chromosome human beings. God bless you. Some of us we have X and Y chromosomes. <laughs> Look at Matthew 26, verse 37, please. Matthew 26, 37. And he took with him Peter and two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be sorrowful and deeply distress. Is that God? This guy is sorrowful, distressed. How many of you have been distressed before? Why you basa? Why you basa? Why you hold on? Say, how can you be a man of God? How can you be a woman of God and be distressed? Distress is so much stress. He was overstressed. And you meet somebody who say, I'm me, I'm so much born again, I don't go through distress. Wonderful. The day you get one stress, that's your end on earth. He 
He didn't say he was distressed. So he was deeply distressed. That is the very, very deepness of distress. How many of you have been distressed with coronavirus this year? The weariness of will I get it or will I not get it is enough trouble. Shaking hands, cry, you are afraid to shake hands. John chapter 2, verse 15. Are we, are we learning some things about him? He made a whip. Can you shift your, this thing? I can't read you. A part of your screen is missing. He made a whip out of the temple. And he, look, who, who made a whip? Answer me. Who made a whip? Oh, help me. Is it God or the child Jesus? He made a whip. And whip people in church. Today, if a pastor takes a cane, and say, all of you have not been paying tired, come for lashes. It will be a media statement. Am I teaching here? John 11, 35, what is there? Oh, sweet. He wept. Hey. Wep weeping is different from crying. Weeping is deep. A shoe. Bemansu. Bemansu. I'm a man. I'm crying. Must I cry? You are a believer. A Christian doesn't cry. Wait a minute. Oh. I've seen people who, because they cried, they got delivered. I tell you, by faith. What faith? Amen. In Mark chapter 13, verse 32, the disciples asked him, when will the coming of the Lord be? Say, I don't know. Wait a minute, oh. is that God talking or human being talking? He said, only the Father knows. So at this place, hey. What did I say? I didn't say this, oh. I left here long ago. Mark 13, 32. But is this the same person who walked on water? Who walked on the water? That is not the child Jesus. That is the son. That is the deity of God. So we now you have the humanity of God and we have the deity of God. Who turned water into wine? But hear me. As for the child, he was born. But as for the son, he was given. So for you to operate in the Y chromosome of God, you need to receive the Y. So the son is a gift that is given. So if you read your Bible very well, you see, the Bible says if you cast out a demon, deliverance is not because a demon is cast out. When a demon is cast out, your DNA is just changing. When you cast out a demon, it goes looking for another place to dwell with similar DNA, similar blood group, similar blood type. If it doesn't find a place suitable, the demon says, I am returning to my house. What does he call house? Your body is his home. Listen, one person had over 3,000 demons out of him. So many demons can live in a person. But the demon was cast out. This is not me speaking. This is just speaking. And when the demon went, it roamed and roamed and roamed and said, I can't find any home. I can't find anybody who has certain characteristics of my house. 
There is no place that I can find the way they do things. So I keep saying to you that how you behave determines whether you will succeed or you will fail. That's why I tell some people that from where you are coming from, from your family, you need engraftment, agriculture. You need to uproot yourself from your family construction base and connect your DNA to another tree that has a DNA of success and tie yourself so strongly there that when they tell you, you cannot be torn. <coughs> Am I teaching well? Are you sure I'm teaching well? So the demon doesn't find a place, <coughs> comes to find a place, I will turn to my house, my house, my house. Why does he call the human body his house? Because that is where the DNA fits. And when he goes and he realizes that, hear me carefully, his type of DNA has been exposed and dealt with, he goes and brings seven more powerful DNA. So what happens is that you might not see the demon character. First, you were only watching porn and we drove out the space of porn. Now you want to become gay because you want to, no, you are not, you are, you, you start chasing people's husband. Some things you never thought you would ever do. Now you, you, if the desire to do it has become so great. I think I'm not preaching here. Now, the, the character you are depicting is a sign of the demon in you. The DNA you have is the reason why you behave the way you behave. The chromosomes in your system. So first we are stealing pain and we cast out the demon of stealing from you. By the time we got to know, you are now an arm robber. And we still, when the, when the demon of stealing pain left, you are an arm robber, a rapist, a vigilante, Isakaba, Sakawa. I think I'm not teaching you. You see, why do they do that? They, the devil brings you complicated chromosomes. Am I talking? Am I teaching something here? I think I'm not, you, are not, you are not in church. So he goes and brings seven more, and they say, We will come and live here. Why? Because they did not replace the house with a new chromosome. There was no room for a new character development. That will bring the Holy Spirit. So he came to find a place clean, garnished, swept, but empty. You go to church, we cast out a demon of poverty from you. We cast out a demon of poverty from you. The demon left. But did you study on prosperity? No. You didn't study on prosperity. So now let me take you to the deity of Jesus. John chapter 1, in the beginning was the word. Wait. I'm introducing the deity into you. You have a flesh. Oh God. Can you see me? I, how many of you are confused? Should I go back? Okay, go and do chromosome research and DNA. And come and let's talk. How many of you did science in school? So let's take it that you say, I'm your father. No problem. We go and take your blood. We do DNA. It is doesn't match. You are not. But there are some people who might not have your DNA. But if they behave the way you behave, they think the way you think, they will naturally get the results you get. Oh, are, are, are you getting what I'm saying? Is it true or is it not true? Okay, there's something we say, Abrochire Abba. Abrochire. What came to Ghana? 
Sometimes I have a picture. I will send it to you later to see. When I went to New York, there's a part of New York, Nima is nice. I saw rats bigger than my hand at the train station. Rat. All you scattered on the floor. I said, is this the America we know? I said, this is the black community. I said, ah. Have you been to Trizaco before? Abrochire? Abagana. What did they do? The DNA, the chromosome shows that you are still black. But the mentality, I, I was following a car. And the driver was, I mean, Polish. I was respecting the car. And Mercedes Benz, letters 2020 registered. This man, just on this road, lowered his glass and threw out a black rubber bag. I told the widow quack, 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 to let him know. He wouldn't even mind me. And I told him, if I go and tell him, he would tell me, I'm too low. I let him slide. What, what is it? So, <laughs> am I teaching something here? I don't know if you understand me so far. So, for God to make Jesus who is human to have a deity, he didn't have to say anything. An angel had to come and most of you, you miss your angel. You see, when we say an angel is coming, we think that every angel must look white, must be flying. But the angel that visited Abraham, that gave Abraham a child, was not an angel that was flying. It was an angel that could even eat. And sometimes God will bring you an angel and tell you that you are about to conceive. You are about to bear a child. And the name of the child will be this. You will be this. You will become great. You will become successful. You will make it in life. And you can even say, Mary, if Mary has slept with Joseph, it will have contaminated the DNA of Jesus. Jesus could not have behaved like God. Careful who you listen to. Many are contaminating your spiritual DNA. I think I'm not teaching well here. Some of you are not even started doing your chromosome test, uh, your chromosome research. Wait, when you go home, do it now. Listen to me. Can I go on? Should I continue? Look at the, whose DNA do you have? So how does God reproduce his DNA in man? It is seen in how he produced his DNA in Jesus. An angel just came and made an announcement to Mary that Mary, you are about to conceive and the child you are about to conceive will be this, will be this, will be this and he said, I'm the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to your word. It is according to your spirit. It is according to the word. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Now, when God gives you a word, you must model a life that depicts the word. I'll prove it very soon. <clears throat> if God tells you, you will play instruments and you don't get an instrument, you can't play. Personally, if I train myself, I can play instrument very well. Because I know so far knows of head. But I don't do it. That doesn't mean that God's word to me is fake. It is my lifestyle that is not enabling God's word to come to pass. Because a DNA is seen in your color. We can, until we take you to a test. If you don't do any test, somebody looked at me and said, hey, a racist cell wall. I'm saying, come on, And any time people tell me, a racist cell wall, I reply always to them and say, come on, say, I'm not going to come back. That's what I always reply to people. And I thank God for bridge that anytime anybody struggles to give birth, when they give birth, the children look like their father so that there's no complication. I some will be asking. Because if you can't do DNA, if there's no DNA at all those days, how do people determine that the child belongs to the man? Character, color, eye, nose, ears, behavior, 
Oh, I'm not talking to somebody at all. So, how can I know that you have the DNA of God when I don't have a Holy Ghost stethoscope? I can know you have the DNA of God based on your character and human behavior, not the car you bought, not the house you have, because that one can be given to you as a gift. Am I teaching here at all? Is it a good message? Should I end now? Are you sure? Look at them and say, I can look at you and know your DNA. <laughs> so, an angel, and this morning there's an angel in your home. There's an angel talking to you, saying that you will make it in life. Others will suffer, but you will make it. He will go through with the people, but you will succeed. You see, as soon as this is said, you can easily look at your X and X chromosome from your mother and say, hey, hmm. Yeah, one I'm near, I'm bad flesh. You are bad flesh, but I have a spirit in you. There's a spirit in man, and the breath of the Lord giveth him inspiration. So that is why a church without a prophetic word will be a church that doesn't go anywhere. Because let me tell you, if I tell you the devil is doing this, the devil is doing it, I am infusing in you a demonic DNA telling you what the devil is already doing in your family. But if I come and tell you that God wants you to build a house, God wants you to be successful, God wants you to be an engineer, God wants you to do A, B, C, and D, it begins to model you. So Mary had a character of virginity, but an angel came and said, you are going to bear a son, and that son will rule the world. The government will be upon his shoulder, and his name shall become wonderful. He will do wonders. Counselor, he will show wise, mighty God, everlasting father, the prince of peace. And I came to announce to somebody that as you sit under the word of God, your DNA is changing. I told you a story on Wednesday how I went to visit my wife's shop and Erasu was taking me around and Erasu got to a tap and she closed it. I didn't tell her to. She herself closed the tap. It was open. When we got to the next room, it wasn't closed, but she tried to close it. Then she told someone there, like, make sure you close the tap. And I'm like, wow. That is more like who? It's not her, me. That's more like me. That's more like me. At this age, she's closing tabs. Certain things are natural instincts that makes you know that this is a DNA. This morning when I came, I went to the top, asked Richard, they cast concrete and they left some inside the bowl. I do check in and out. He had to remove all the concrete from the bowl. Whether it's construction or not, you work. They had to do it. It is part of my instincts. I hate that nonsense. You will do it right. Yes, at 8 o'clock, Former was casting blocks because he didn't bring anybody to do block work. He has to do it himself. For not bringing them, that is my nature. Am I talking to somebody here? Look at which nature do you have? Your mortiness is a DNA. Your mortiness. Your phlegmatic nature. Somebody told me that Pastor David is a fireman. I said, which Pastor David? He said, Reverend David, I'm across. I said, Pastor David, a typical phlegmatic. This guy has changed from that cool man to be a hard man. The Pastor David we know, who is too cool. How many of you know Pastor David well? So much, anything goes. But not anymore. Her soldier instincts has been activated. Because when you become born again, you don't operate by your temperament. You operate by the fruit of the spirit. When the occasion demands, your temperament is activated. You don't operate by two temperaments. You operate by four. Based on the occasion, that is why you can have a God whose face is like an ox, whose, whose face is like an eagle, whose face is like a man. And why, and why is he having all these kind of faces? Because you must have diversity in Christ to be able to produce what you need to produce on earth. You must be a lamp, but yet a lion. 
an ox, and yet an eagle. And that is God. That's how cherubims look like. Am I teaching somebody here? Am I teaching somebody here? So, what everybody was talking about, Matthew was talking about the genealogy. Abraham gave birth to this, and this one gave birth to this, and this one Rahab gave birth to this, and this one gave birth to this, and Boaz gave birth to David, and no, 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 Boaz gave birth to Jesse, Jesse gave birth to David. John came and said, let me show you how to have the God DNA in you. He didn't talk about the angel who came. Because the angel could be anybody sent to give you God's direction. He said, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. So who is God? Word. Who is God? So who is God? His word is God. So if you say you have God, it is the word of God you have that shows that you have God. Not your spirit. I'm you here. Yeah. Give me, is it Genesis 3, 5? We'll come back to you. Genesis 3, 5. No. Give me where um, the Bible said, and the spirit of God walked. And God walked, sorry. And God walked. They heard his voice when we were backsliding. The voice of God, let me quote it. The voice of God was walking. Okay, let's read. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. They heard the voice of the word, Lord God walking. How can a voice of God be walking? And I always say that it's simple. When you are closer, it is thicker. When you are further away, it is fainter. How do you know you are far away from God when you are not hearing from him often? The further away you are, the fainter his voice. The closer you are, the accurate, the precision. Line upon line, precept upon precept, you just know and you know. Am I teaching somebody here? Who is God? God is his word. So you know something? Anybody who rejects God's word has rejected God. Simple. Your majesty. I can't but bow. I lay my all. Before you now, in royal robes, I don't deserve, I live to serve your majesty. We'll sing it again, but hear me. In the beginning was the, so this anything you start outside this word is outside God. Did God tell you to do that? It is if it is his word he has told you. In the beginning was the and the word was with and the word number two. He was in the beginning with God. Wait a minute. He was in the beginning with God. Now they are separating the God and the He and the Word. Can you be on your feet for me? Can you sit? Who told you to stand? Let's talk. Who told you to stand? Who? The Word. Oh, why did you listen? Because of who spoke it. So I keep telling you that faith is not because somebody has spoken. Faith is based on who said. Go and read my statutes. I've written something on God. Go and read it. I won't tell you here. He was in the beginning with God. 
Who was in the beginning with God? The word. The, if there's somebody who knows God well, it's his word. Let's go on. All things were made through him. That is the word. And without him was not anything made that was made. That means that any time God wants to do something for you, he must speak it as a word. Why? Clap for Jesus. You see, your obedience, you clapped, is out of what? A word. So if I say, you will buy a house, and you say, that one, you didn't say amen early, because you have your other DNA began to say, is he talking to this one? Or is he talking to me? Is it an example or not? When I say, clap for Jesus, you didn't think twice. Your ability is sharp. When I say, you will buy a house, is he still didn't say amen? <laughs> your, your natural inclinations and your, your instincts on your DNA start wondering, is it me he's talking about? Is it an example? Is it all of us? Is he just saying it? Why didn't you, why, why is it when I said clap, you didn't think like it could be somebody, do I want you to clap or not? But when I said you will buy a house, you have started thinking whether it is you or something else. Because see, we, our ability to obey spiritual things is so easy. But yet it's difficult. The next one. God. In him was life. That is the DNA I'm talking about. In the word was life. Life is not the ability to breathe in and out. Life is the Zoe kind of life that we are talking about. It's the ability to express your thinking capacity like God. Behavior like God. A DNA like God. How will God has done this? That is why one day Jesus said that the son can do nothing by himself. Whatever he sees the father do, that is what he doeth. What was he saying? I only observe my father. And I'm just obeying my father. Because as long as I obey my father, I'll get the results my father wants me to have. A lot of us don't get results God wants us to have because we hear the word, but our DNA, which is the child, not the son, as, I'll get the, as many as received him, he gave them power to become sons of God. Until you have received him, you are just a child of God. You behave like your mother. You behave like your father. But when you receive him, you stop behaving only as your mother or your father. You begin to pick the DNA, the life, the life of God. Alpha and Omega, we worship your name. Come on, let's worship him small. I feel him here. Take me up, don't, don't go down. We worship Alpha and Omega. We worship your name. We worship your name. We worship your name. Alpha and Omega. We worship your name. 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 We in the word was life. Someone say life. Shout life. Do you know life? Get me what life. As soon as you saw me like this, what came into your head? Chica, I'm a friend. Texas. But I've not been there. I've not gone there. But you saw me and you called me Texas Ranger. Because you've seen Texas Ranger before. May somebody see you and say you are a wife material. You are husband material. You are a successful material because you start working in that class. Am I prophesying to somebody here? Someone else, I'm a sister. Say, hey, wait, so. 
Ah, I see something they need to see. They must look at you and say, Kai, Kai, you are the one I should marry. Are you crazy? No, 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 no. If it be five years, I'll wait for you. I'll marry you. What have you seen? He said, in him was life. And that life was the light of men. Ah, 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 what does it mean to be the light of men? In other words, you give people direction. You open the understanding. You open doors where doors no open. Many people are saying, that, I'm a Christian. Nothing is happening in my life. Nothing is happening because you don't have the word. And if you don't have the word, you don't have the life. If you don't have the life, you don't have the light. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. A man of a word has direction. I was bothered about something. I went to God in prayer. I said, Francis, you are bothered. I went through it to read this verse of the Bible. I, I said, God, this one is long ago. 54, 56 verses. He said, eh, read it. I read it. I said, ah. So this is how you solved it, eh? I'm also going to solve it that way. Why? In him is life. And that life is the light. Some say life brings light. Do you know that, do you know that when people are married, both parents can be fighting. I mean, external family, in-laws. But the day the child is born, <laughs> because they believe that when a child is born, the child comes to cement the marriage. I'm not talking to somebody here. And during the baby dedication, all in-laws come. And if you make a mistake and don't invite the other side, you will regret it. Is it true? It's not true. Everybody wants to see their first child. Light comes to the house. <coughs> life comes to the home. And I speak life to somebody's home. I speak life to somebody's house. Receive life in the name of Jesus. Your amen is not good at all. I said your amen is not good at all. Someone said, oh, this is just a Christmas service. This is just a Christmas service. No. This is another service to have a miracle. In him was life. Someone say life. I tell people this. Let me tell you. I've told it's one of my books. I said, you let me give an example. Be somebody who doesn't leave the Bible. Buy a big Bible, the Roman Catholic type one. Go to a restaurant and put the Bible in front of you and order for food. Everybody that comes there sees you in a certain way. Oh, please. And start shouting. They will say, Ah, you, you don't behave like that. They will look at the Bible in front of you. And tell you that, please. It, as if the person is looking at you knows that, based on what you hold, keke, not the one you leave, oh, what you hold, keke, there is some life that is expected from you because the word of God brings you a certain DNA. That is a different DNA from your mother and your father's bloodline. Is it true? It's not true. If you like, go to where Jesus is Lord t shirt. And go to a restaurant or go to market and start fighting. Somebody come to you. Are you not a Christian? I see, I see Christians don't fight. I behave well. Oh, okay. They will start calling you pastor. Pastor. Is it true? It's not true. If you are not a believer, a Buddhist, a Muslim will see that Bible you hold. How much more when they see that Bible you leave? How much more if they see how well, well structured you live? The value on your life becomes high. I have a daughter, and I told her she should bounce all the guys. Yeah, until further notice. Because there are too many. And she can't choose. And said they will all leave. I said, yes, let them leave. And he said, for two years, you are not dating. You are going to be built up. After just six months, I said, are you ready for any of them? I said, all of them are useless. I don't need any of them. What is the difference between then and now? 
First, she loved them because she had not matured to a certain level. She, she assumed that they were important to her, to, 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 to her based on her useless former DNA. When she started having the DNA of the mind of God in her, she now realized that she doesn't need of that. Before they said, take your, life, take your life. After two, three years, they started calling her from a London, from Ghana, from a wherever. Please, I want to marry you. They said, Boo said, when they see her life, they see her on social media, say, hey, hey, I will marry you by force. I will marry you by force. Why do you want to marry this person by force? First, when she decided to follow a new DNA, you moved away. Because even the people in the world, they need the DNA we have in Christ for them to survive. Am I talking to somebody? When the angel went to Sodom and Gomorrah. He said, if I, if I can find 10 righteous people, I will not destroy a nation. If God can find a Christ like somebody in your home, in your house, in the church, no destruction can come because you will bring light to the area. You will bring understanding to the area. You will bring life to the area. May you be the light of your family. Your amen is very porous. May you be the one to bring light to the family. How can you have a 25-year-old boy, 20-year-old boy, and the area people will call you? Come. My wife and I are fighting. Talk to you 20 years. You don't even have a boyfriend, a girlfriend. You've not dated before. But someone who's married with six children is telling you, advise my wife. You think he does not see something in you. There's something this person sees that you have. That he has physical experience. And you go and talk to the wife. So let's pray. You see the Bible says, the word of God says, so the wife come at it. The man says, oh, thank you. My wife has changed. Experience is not greater than the word of God. The only thing older than Satan is the word. Because in the beginning was the word. The word was created before Satan. Your experience will kill you. Don't bring your experience when we are talking about his word. I repeat it. Unto us, a child is born. Unto us, a son is given. Sonship is a gift you receive. You are all children of God. But for you to become a son, you must start portraying the DNA, the chromosome, the Y, X, Y chromosome of God. Keep your X with your mom and your dad. But the Y. Can we move on? The next one. I love this word. Five. And the light shines into aquatashi. The light shines into alcoholism. The light shines into poverty. The light shines into sicknesses and diseases. And they look at the light that is coming. And they began to move away. And the light, the light doesn't come early. Oh. The light starts coming first by the word. Then the word graduates to become what? Life. A lifestyle. Then it becomes, it becomes a light. So Isaiah said, The Gentiles shall come to your light. Unbelievers are attracted to your light. They're not attracted to your praying, singing. Hey, unbelievers sing than us. They pray than us. Listen. You can pray 100 years. But if you don't have the life of God, the DNA is not in your nature. Look. There are people who go to people and say, I need this. They will cry and cry and cry and cry. The best will not mind them. Kuma, Kuma is here. Please take your seat. Yesterday, Kuma told me something. I don't really have money because of the construction. He said, I feel where they are punching. You know? Yeah, yeah, construction, any yeah, baby. And this guy has suffered. So in the night, I called Gideon. I said, Gideon. Get me good. The workers will you go to today. Now, wait. On. If you, Frank, had come to me and said good, I'll marry you. You don't deserve good. You, you deserve cut. <laughs> Please take your seat. Are, are you understanding me here? So it is not somebody. I've been praying. I know. 
The DNA will speak. The DNA will speak. When Jesus was speaking, it was like God was speaking. The Bible says, Ahitophel, he spoke the mind of God. His words was like God speaking. His wisdom, the day they despised it, they were, as if Absalom had listened, listen, if Absalom has listened to Ahitophel, David would have died. David would have died. And David knew, and being very smart, planted somebody around Ahitophel who was just saying, don't mind him, don't mind him, don't mind him. And the, the Absalom listened to those people and didn't hear Ahitophel. And Ahitophel looked at how his counsel was not taken and the disgrace it will bring to him. He hanged himself. A man who knows God is so sure that he wonders why you are not listening. Many are lost. They don't have direction. Because they don't have the light. Everyone can be walking in darkness. But you, there's light in front of you. And that light, it shines. And whenever you enter dark places, they know that you are coming. Witches know that you are coming. They, they park. You say, I'm going to my hometown. Man of God, I need prayer. Nonsense. You don't need prayer when you're going to your hometown. The witches and the wizards must flee because you are coming. Light is coming in the darkness. And the darkness cannot comprehend it. Mrs. Okra is here. Sometimes, is it Mrs. Okra? Um, your friend is saying, Rukaya of, is it fact, one of them, I've forgotten. They were, they were put in a hospital. Where was it? This hospital, what's the name? Is it you? I entered the hospital. I said, where's my daughter? I prayed for her. And I said, all of you here, you are discharged. The following day, they all left the hospital. The hospital was beds were empty. When you enter a hospital, the whole hospital must know that you have arrived. So that the devil will know that he has made a mistake making you come to the hospital. The last time I was admitted, that was 1996 in a hospital. I was supposed to work with the former president Rawlings on, what is it, right? Maurice Sayulo was coming to Ghana. And I was supposed to work. And I was admitted in hospital because I, did, I was only drinking Coca-Cola. And they admitted me for whatever. They said, saw in my stomach or something. I was, I was vomiting gas because I was drinking only Coca-Cola for like six months. I was lying down with drip on me. I woke up from my cola pass. I said, where am I? They said, 37. I said, what is today? They said, today. I said, today is the crusade. I said, I'm, I started removing that. They said, eh, eh. Then I heard somebody was crying. The hospital. What is it? Somebody is there. A child is there. I said, let me go there. I laid hands. The child came back to life. I laid hands. The doctors can say, you are not sick. You can go. The truth is that I make the devil aware that it will be a mistake anytime he allows me to step in the hospital. Because when the light shines, darkness must disappear. From today, the word of God will prevail against any darkness I sign against you. If you are the one I'm talking to, shout a believing amen. When they said the business, you cannot have it. You send your secretary, it doesn't work. You send the haze, it doesn't work. Elisha himself must get there. And when he steps there, they say, Oga, you, you yourself, you are here. Please, sit down. Problem solved. Because you come with some light. You come with an understanding. He said, and the light, you see, light talks about understanding. Because he said, and the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not comprehend, did not understand it. Understanding versus understanding. Light versus light. David said, in your light, we shall see light. You miss someone who thinks it's light. But you arrive with the word. And your word is dangerous than light. You go and meet someone who is bringing a CV, a doctorate degree, master's or whatever. You come with a word. And the person is knowledge is put to the background because you speak to oracle and the mind of God. I think I'm not preaching to somebody on a Christmas day. Because of time, give me from verse 10. We worship your name. Verse 10 to 14. Oh, for an army. He was in the world. He's still in the world. That is the word. Some say Jesus is gone. No, he's still the word. He was in the world. And the world was made through him. And the world did not know him. 
the whole world is waiting, waiting for you. Who knows the way to manifest? You are sitting down and you are not doing anything to manifest. Everything was made by the word. Everything. Through the word. But the world did not know him. Verse 11. He came to his own. And his own did not receive him. How do you receive him? It is not enough to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Born again is just a first step. Born again doesn't mean you walk in light. Read your Bible. John 3.3 3 said, except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom. So, born again only makes you see the light. It doesn't give you the light. You can hear me. So, so many people stand there, I am born again. It's not enough. I've come for deliverance. They've cast out darkness from me. When you cast out darkness, you must bring in light. When he casts out negative DNAs, he must release positive DNAs. Can we go on? He came to his own. But his own did not get, take me back. He came to his own. And his own did not receive him. Why did he say he came to his own? Because we are all children of God. Unto us, a child is born. Unto us, a son is given. The sonship is the DNA. The X and Y chromosome. That makes you behave like God. But how do you do it? You must receive it. Continue. Hey, whether I like it or not, I'm paying my tight. It is my own. So, your inability to receive is what prevents your DNA from changing. Mary said, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Be it unto me according to your word. He, she received it. Zachariah did not want to receive. The angel knew that if this guy keeps talking, my plan will change. Deaf and dumb. I'm going to pray a prayer. Be careful you don't say amen. Let me say it first. Anything you will do to stop what God wants to do for you before the end of the year, may God do you and do it for you. You like it? Zachariah went deaf and dumb. Went dumb. That's when you realize that things are not working. A man of God said, God, he needed to rest. He was not resting. He felt sick. When he went to the hospital, they said he needs to sleep. He slept for 10 days. He was okay. So, when God wanted him to sleep, he made him feel feverish. When God wants something done in your life, he must get it done. And that is why next week, or whatever, I'll teach you that there's a difference between covenant and will. Oh God, should I go there? Let me move my camp. Listen, will is powerful than covenant. What is covenant? Covenant is two people striking a deal. If you do this, I do this. this. What is a will? When your parents write a will for you, nobody has a right to change their will. So when Jesus was teaching us the prayer, he didn't say pray for covenant. He said, your will. (laughs) If somebody has willed you his house, somebody can look at you. You are too short. You don't have your your man's DNA. You are not his child, so you can't have it. It's a will. If God decides that you are going to be A, B, C, and D, nobody can present another case to God to change their will. But when it's a covenant, someone can present that you have not obeyed A, B, C, and D. So because of that, you will not go. That is why in the modern day Christianity, we yes, we have covenant with God, but we stress more on the will of God. What is a will than a covenant? Because when it comes to his will, Whatever he wants to do, it must come to pass. We'll deal with that later. Look at have you received him? I didn't, I didn't hear you. Look at look at the disciples. Are you tired? Look at the disciples. They watch Jesus and they realize they do not get answers to prayer. Jesus that go, goes. So one day they called Jesus and said, Teach us, Matthew says, how to pray. Why did they say teach us how to pray? Were they not praying? They were praying, but they realized that they don't know how to pray. Their prayer was useless. 
Because, you see, being born again is a process. You become born again, you are born to the kingdom. But for you to depict the character and the nature is by association. So Jesus said, when you pray, pray like this. Why was he teaching them how to pray? They don't know how to pray. He gave them his formula for prayer. And I always say that when you go to normal church, you say, when you are praying, if you have not, if you are sin in your heart, don't pray because God will not hear your prayer. So ask for forgiveness of sins first. And I read your, what Jesus thought is not the same. He said, pray, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Then you decide on his will. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us my, my pocket money for today. Before, forgive me my sins. Because when you start prayer for forgiving my sins, you can't ask for forgiveness of sins because by covenant, you don't deserve it. By covenant, you don't deserve it. But by his will, you deserve the bread. Because he himself said, no child will ask his son. No child will ask his father for bread and give him stone. Let me end. If I go too much into that one. Can I continue? He came to his own, but his own did not receive him. We are Christians, but don't receive God. We don't receive his word. We don't. We go to church. Pastor says, it's not God says, he said something about Christmas I didn't know. Yeah, but you have not received it. A sign that you have received it, it becomes part of your DNA. It becomes part of your thinking. It becomes part of your metabolism. And when it becomes part of your body, metabolic, you don't struggle to depict it. It is natural. You don't struggle. Even Jesus, the, who was the son, or who is the son of God, God to say he was struggling with God's will. He, at the of Gethsemane, he was struggling with God's will. He was praying against God's will. He was praying against it. That was the humanity of him. So as human as you are, there will be times that you will want to fight God's will. But hear me, his will must always prevail over your will. You must always receive him. For why am I changing keys like that? What key are we using? Daniel. Mm -hmm. For for who you are. I bless your name. The next one. For who you are. I worship you. You are God all by yourself. You are God all by yourself. Sing it again. For who you are, I bless your name. For who you are, come on, I worship you. For you are God all by yourself. You are God of yourself. Look at someone say, I'm receiving him today. Listen, Mary received the angel, right? True of us. But Joseph also received the message of the angel. The people around also received the message. When Mary was six months, um, Elizabeth was six months pregnant, the vision was ongoing. Mary was also starting the process. Things were bad. And then you had to tell Mary, move and go and stay with Elizabeth. It's, it's still a process. Can you just imagine Mary watching his own son on the cross dying? And he remembered what the angel told him years ago. If she still had to enjoy it, she wouldn't stop the son. What am I talking about? He came to his own. Most Christians receive God swear today, next week, 31st, now you are born again. Oh, we become very serious. The next one. But as many as received him. Give me original King James, please. This is New King James. The New King James tells me what I want. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become to become what? Unto us a child is. Unto us a son is. So sonship must be received. He gave.
gave you the power to become a son so that you walk in his DNA. You walk in his lifestyle. Even to them that believe in his name. And the next verse intrigues me. The next verse. Which were born? Which were born? Not of mother, father, DNA. Not of blood. I said I'll deal with the will of God and covenant. No, of the will of the flesh. There is the will of the flesh. There is the will of the flesh. I'm angry. I will not do it. I'm not in the mood. I'm not do it. I don't like them, so I don't. I won't do it. Semikaya. Let me try. When the word comes in, I won't. I won't. Not of the blood. Your DNA. When you receive this sonship, when Jesus was born. He had the DNA of Mary. But when he started obeying God, he started listening to God. One day he listened to Peter. He went to the garden of Gethsemane and prayed three hours, don't let me die. Listening to Peter, his own disciple, was enough and detrimental to his, his assignment. As long as he obeyed God, he followed the word. Not his physical DNA. Not the blood. Not the will of man. Obiase be yes of we have been nonsense. Omo no mafra. Obiase me say businessman. Obiase me ware na e be boa me. I don't know where people get this thing from. Nor the will of man, nor the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. You know what does he mean there? He said, not the will of man, but the will of God. May the will of God for you in this season permit and predict any other will assigned against your life in the name of Jesus. If your amen is not good, go home. I wish above all things that you will prosper and be in hell. Even as your soul prospers. You don't like this will. You don't like this will. So when sometimes somebody tells you that <laughs> look at the person whether he's talking from the perspective of throne room or perspective of the will of man. Because man also has a will. And that sometimes comes to pass. Adam chose the will not to die and not to live for God, and it happened. Jesus would have chosen his will not to die, it would have happened. So man's will is also there, but God's will is there. When a will is done, that certain properties must be given to you. Some people can try to make sure that the will is not read in your favor. And because ghosts don't talk, they might change it. But we serve a God that exists. He lives. He is alive. That if anybody tries to change his will, he can decide to step in and still enforce his will. That's the difference between the will of man and the will of God. Verse 14. I'll end here. And the word was made flesh. Now look at it. First, look at the process. It was the word that became life living. When it became life living, it became what? Light. Now it becomes what? Flesh. So your, it now becomes a pure DNA. A pure DNA. It becomes flesh. The word now is a flesh. You leave it, leave it, leave it. Now, if they check, there's a man, I've gotten his name. Now we say we are powerful. People are afraid of Corona. There's a man who was in Scotland. I've forgotten his name. When a virus came those days, he went around praying. He, he put off his priestly robe and became a doctor by force, praying for people to get home. And they didn't understand why he was not getting it. Everybody was protecting himself with no smash. The guy was not wearing it. So they took him in South Africa and they put a virus in his hand. And they put a microscope to watch it. When they watch it, the virus were dying in his hand. Like man was not an ordinary man. You can Google it. 
Can you tube it? Is there? The virus, when they put the virus in his hand, the virus just melted. What kind of DNA does such a person have? You have been trying to leave. You don't try to leave. You. If you try, you won't get there. People who try to marry, they didn't marry. People say, I will try. They never. The people who do, when you are married, don't say, will you not take this person to be your wife? They say, I will try. Nobody will marry you such marriage. Even though there will be trouble, you say, I do. Someone say, I want the word to give me life. To become light to me. And I want you to become flesh. So Jesus became flesh. So when he died and he rose again, come and see this man. He walks through a wall. Was he still man? Yes, he still ate. He was God by now he could eat. He did like this. Without wings, he vanished to the skies. Wow. If today I vanish, you tell me I'm a witch. Who means I'm a wizard? From today, your DNA must change. Eh? The whole family, you have asthma. You, you, you have asthma. No, you don't. You can't. My father went blind at 60. You, at 80, your eyes should be clearer than blindness. Eh? It's in our family, when you start making it, ah, you fall down. Um, which family are you talking about? I forgot. Which family are you talking about? Is it the X chromosome or the Y chromosome? Are you talking about a God kind of life in you or you are talking about the flesh, blood kind of? No. The one you just connected to that you have received. Hallelujah. You can't die before your time. The one you have received, you don't feel. Your failure attend to opportunities. Ask Joseph. Every prison led to a palace. In your majesty, I can't but bow. Help me, let's go. I lay my all before you now. In royal robes, I don't deserve, I live to serve your majesty. King of kings, majesty, let's sing out. To savior, the closest friend. You are my deliver, my deliverer. To deliver my beginning and end, all within me and all within me. Pass at your throne. Oh, you are my. Things the governments will be on your shoulder. 
you will also be called wonderful. Whatever was ascribed to Jesus could be ascribed to you. Why? Because you, you have his DNA. I want you to pray to God, oh Lord Jesus, help me to receive you completely into my life. I, I want the word to work in me. I want to graduate from having word to living it, the life of the word. I want to graduate from living it to be, for it to become light for me. Now, when it becomes light for me, I want it to dwell with me and become flesh and reality. It is not a reality. I now know it is settled. In royal roads that I don't desire. I always live to serve your majesty. center of it all is you that I see you that I see at the center of it all that is the DNA it must naturally speak for you Your God nature must be higher than the nature of your bloodline. You are greater, greater than greater. You are bigger, bigger than the big. You are stronger, stronger than the strong. Activate that part of you. In the darkness, mighty God, that is who you are. Way maker, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, life in the darkness, mighty God, that is who you are. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, life in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Now say this after me boldly. Say, Lord Jesus, I have received you. Stay in my heart. Your word says in Romans chapter 8 verse number 11 that if the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead 
lives in me. It will stir my body. Right now, Holy Spirit, I believe you are inside me. Stir my chromosomes. Stir my system. Stir my organs. Stir my body to the will of God. To the will of God. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Stir your system to operate in that DNA. Don't see him, his work. You might not see it. You might not feel a DNA, but your lifestyle shows it. You never stop working. You never stop working. You never stop Amen. Now lift your hands up. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for such a time. We know we are your children. But today we graduate to become your sons. To become your daughters. Lord, you say as many as received you, you gave them the power to become sons. You say as many as are led by your spirit, we are your sons. Lord, we want to manifest your sonship. We vanish out of every problem. We come against anything that we could normally not have overcome because of our backdated DNA. And we activate ourselves into your will. Let your perfect will for us as a people, as a church, as an individual, be superimposed over any will of man, any will of spirits, any intents of anybody, and we vow to give you the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Come on, give the Lord Jesus a mighty clap of faith. Can you please lift up your offering? Hallelujah. How I wish our minister to do Today is a holiday, and you people didn't come to church. <laughs>